I had no plans at all to shoot Beat Breakdown for this patch. I was going to get out my brand new Bootla module and have a great time. But shout out to everybody on Reddit who sort of engaged with the clip I posted last weekend and asked me lots of questions about it. So I've decided to spend the extra time running through how this um, sound was created. And here it is. I hope you all enjoy. <laughs> So I started off with a kick drum on this. The tragedy of our time, but similar to Territus Alto, one of the most out there modules there is in Eurorack, and yet again, it just ends up doing the kick drum. I've got quite a slow attack time and very quick decay time on this, and it's set to the liquid setting. Here's what that sounds like. So the next thing is this hi-hat sound. It's plats just set to the hi-hat algorithm and then I'm modulating the morph randomly to sort of change the decay time. Here's what that sounds like, just mixed in with the kick. So the next part is this sort of rim shot-ish glitch sound from Akemi's Taiko. So here's the sound I created, and then I occasionally modulate release two, just to make it do this weird sort of glitched clappy sound. Here's what that sounds like mixed in with those other parts. So this is a pretty straightforward beat, and I just wanted to make it way more out there and weird. So there's now a load of layers of just weird out there glitched Foley percussion. The first one is this break, which is played on the squid salon pool. The bit depth on, of it is randomly modulated by a stepped random voltage from PAMS. And then that goes into warp where it's vocoded with the internal oscillator set to noise. Here's what that one sounds like. So that's mixed in with this other level of glitched up Foley percussion. This one I recorded a load of like, I think it was the sound of popcorn being popped. And then I basically resampled it within the squid salon pool, like re reversing bits, stuttering around within it. And then the, the resampled sample within this patch, I jump around be between the cue points just to make sure it rhythmically fits with the track. So there's that layer. And then the last one of these sort of glitchy Foley percussions sounds like this. That's some footstep samples and then the pitch and speed of that is um, being modulated by an LFO coming out of maths. Here's those three levels of glitchy percussion mixed in with the parts I've already spoken about. So the next element is Fracture. Fracture is most of the time playing straight up single clap or a burst of claps. However, every now and then it receives a envelope from PAMS which affects the surface. And that means you, every few bars, the sound will just totally change into, into one of the other uh, surface parameters of Fracture. It also receives an occasional gate from the clock sequencer, putting the reverb to 100% for these big bursts of sound. So here's Fracture on its own. And here it is mixed in with all of the rest of the percussion. The next thing I did, load in a little chop of a vocal sample into the squid salon pool, and then that receives pitch and a gate from the BeatStep Pro to trigger it. And there's two sequences that I play at various different points within the track. The first is this. And then the second is this much more melodic line.
that's basically it for this patch. The only other thing that's in there is a piano, which is actually at this point done in the box, just because I'd run out of um, modules. Here's what that patch sounds like with the piano part that I wrote mixed in with it. <laughs>